Hey there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I am in the room of Horde because I have a big project today. I have this canvas here and I dropped something on it and it made a nasty little puncture wound there. I still got the plastic on it. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you how to repair a hole in a stretched canvas so you can paint on it. I got some inspiration, so I want to fix up this canvas so I can use it. I've got some raw cotton canvas here, cotton duck canvas. I've got a brush, I've got some gesso, and I've got some PVA glue which is actually Mod Podge. So let me put my camera up on the ceiling mount and I'll show you how we're gonna repair this. All right, I've zoomed in. I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see the context of my canvas. I cut away the plastic, but I did leave it on the front just to um, keep dust off it, protect it while I'm doing this, uh, this job. I'm gonna start off with some PVA glue. First thing I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna put some glue on the patch. I'm only putting it on here just to, oops, got some, some dust. I pulled down my camera mount to uh, to use it and had some dust on it. So I'm giving this a good coating of the PVA glue. I'm also going to coat this area here. Don't worry if it seeps over onto the front side. I've got plastic under there, like I said. And um, we're going to put gesso over this area on the front side. So... So don't worry about that. Now I have enough glue on there. I can see it kind of seeped through to the back and that's good. I really want to have a good bond here. I'm not really too concerned with how the back of this looks. I just want to make sure that I've got that covered. Now if you've got a, a canvas that's got like a dent in it and you can see like on the front of the canvas it's just kind of like you see a, either an indent or an out dent. What you can do is just spray the back of the canvas with water. So something like that where you haven't actually punctured the canvas, just spray the back of the canvas with water. And if anybody's interested in, in a video on how to stretch a canvas, like buy the canvas, buy the stretchers, let me know. I could do that. I just, the canvases have gotten so cheap. Of course, I think they're cheaper made as well uh, over the years. So I usually, I haven't stretched my own since... Uh, God, since before I had kids, I don't think so. If anybody wants to see that, let me know. I don't think it's as a cost-saving um, endeavor these days as it used to be, but uh, it is if you want a weird size or a large size or a better quality canvas. So we're gonna let this dry. Oh, before I let it dry, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a piece of a plexiglass on there. You could put a, a piece of, um, you could put a piece of wax paper or something. I'm just gonna put plexiglass because that's, uh, you don't need to squish it down. I don't know why I did that. Um, because it's not going to stick. And then I'm just going to put something down to await it. I've just got this little glass. I don't know what that is. But I'm going to put it down there to, to just kind of put some pressure on it. And we're going to let this dry completely. It might take overnight. So I'll see you when that's all dry. Okay, it's the next day. I actually propped this up on that glass thing this morning because this uh, patch was still wet and the front of the uh, the canvas was still wet so I needed to have, I need to let some air circulate because I am in a cool basement. It is, I'm filming this in March so it is pretty cool down here and it takes a while for adhesives and paint stuff to dry so that feels pretty dry. Um, so what I'm going to do now is flip this over and we're going to put some gesso on the front side. I am keeping it wrapped except for the area that I'm working with just to keep it clean. And here we can see what the front side of this looks like. And I might actually have to use a palette knife here, but we'll, we'll just do a, the gesso and see what it looks like. And if I still see like an indent, that really had a good hole in there. Um, and this is what my gesso looks like. It's a nice thick gesso. It's by Jerry's Autorama. It's the world's greatest gesso. And I really like it because I think it's pretty affordable. And um, it's nice and thick, so... I think we're gonna need a couple coats. What I might do though, I'm just gonna grab a palette knife really quick and just um, smooth a bit on. I'm fill in that, fill in that hole a bit if I can. And it might take a little bit of um, might take a little bit of sanding or something afterwards. Yeah, I think it's probably gonna take a little bit of sanding. But, certainly much better than it was. Um, so there you go, we're gonna let this dry and then when we come back, I'll tell you if I need to sand it or not. 
Hey guys, uh, Lindsay here. I just wanted to show you how the canvas came out. Now we're in the uh, my uh, filming room again, but I'm going to show you the back side of the canvas where the patch is. You can see it right there, because otherwise it's kind of hard to see where I patched it. But, um, so we'll see on the front, the patching, I'm just going to open up my thing here so I can see it. The patching, and I'm sorry for the shadow that I'm casting, would be right about there. But it looks pretty good. It's nice and smooth. I did do a, a layer of gesso over the entire canvas because the commercially prepared gesso that was on there was kind of shiny and I wanted it to have an even tooth all around. Um, so I'm really pleased with how the patch came out and um, I can report that it's a great way to patch a canvas that has been damaged. If it's a painting um, that you've damaged, you can do the patch from the back like I did before and then when you get to the front, you're just going to need to get your paints out and touch up that area on the front of your canvas so that you can't see the um, uh, the rip or what have you. So it's a little bit different if you're if you're patching a damaged painting, but this will do the trick if it's a brand new canvas that you're getting ready to paint. Hope you enjoyed this DIY Frugal Friday tip. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.